Welcome to Infra SOS YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to find and export Azure AD users with the help of PowerShell. So currently we are inside an Azure Active Directory as you can see on the screen right now. So the very first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to open up PowerShell and we are going to find and install the module Microsoft Graph. For that simply come over to the search option, search for PowerShell and then right click and open it up as an administrator. Now within this PowerShell, let's see if we have the module already installed. For that the commandlet is find-module and then microsoft.graph and then we are going to check for all versions so we put an asterisk symbol and then hit enter. Now as you can see that we have this module installed but it is only installed for our current user. But in case it is not present in your active directory and if you want to install it for other users as well then simply run the command install-module and then microsoft.graph and then use the scope flag and then specify current user. Doing this will install Microsoft Graph in your PowerShell. Now once you're done with the installation of Microsoft Graph, the next step is to find Azure Active Directory users using PowerShell. Now for that the very first step is to actually connect Microsoft Graph with the correct scope. Now for that the commandlet that we're going to use is connect-mg and then graph and then you're going to use the scopes flag and then within single quotation marks you're going to specify user.read.all and then hit enter. At this point, you might be prompted to sign into your Microsoft account that is connected with the Azure AD. So if that prompt shows up, you need to log in. So as you can see right over here in the PowerShell, it says welcome to Microsoft Graph. This basically means that now we are connected with Microsoft Graph with the correct scope. To get a list of all the users, the commandlet is get hyphen mg user and then hyphen all. After this, simply hit enter, wait for a few seconds and you will get the list of all users attached with your Azure Active Directory. Now you can also fetch users by applying certain filters. So the commandlet for that is get hyphen mg user and then you're going to use the filter flag and within the double quotation of the filter flag you're going to specify what you want to fetch. So to fetch a specific display name you're going to type display name and then you're going to use eq for is equal and then within single quotation mark you're going to specify the display name like this one. So this is how you can get the names of users by applying a filter. Anyways, let's move on to our next step. Now to export all Azure AD users, but now to do this, the commandlet is get hyphen mg user and I'm going to export all of the users and therefore I'm going to use the all flag. And after that, include a pipe symbol because we want to merge two commandlets together and then use the commandlet export csv and then specify the path by using the path flag and I'm going to set the path equal to the current working directory. So for that, I'm going to simply use dot and then we are going to use a backslash and then we are going to simply specify the file. So I'm just going to simply type export.csv and then I'm going to add in the flag no type information. After that simply hit enter and your file has been exported. Now to verify this open up the location using the file explorer and as you can see that we have this file export which is a csv file. So for now I'm going to open it in the notepad and these are all the details about all of the Active Directory Azure users. Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Additionally, you can also check out the Office 365 and Active Directory auditing tool known as Infra SOS. Now this Infra SOS helps users confirm their Active Directory and Office 365 users which are compliant and secure from any potential cyber attack. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. Now if you want to learn more about the commands of finding and exporting Azure AD users with PowerShell then simply check out the blog that is linked in the description box. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.